Hey guys, it's Saturday today and I have decided that I'm going to go shopping. <laughs> um, this hot weather is just not going away so I feel like I need a few more dresses to keep me going through the weather. I've also just been really in the mood to go shopping this week and I thought I was having a day off on Wednesday and I didn't. So yes. I've been craving going shopping. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna try and take you guys along with me a bit. I'll probably just show you like when I'm in changing rooms and stuff. But yeah, the plan is to go to Sloan Square first because I want to go to Free People and Ghost and then possibly Oxford Circus and then maybe Westfield, not sure. I kind of love shopping on my own because I can just do whatever I want. I don't have to worry about tiring other people out. So yeah, that's what the plan is Day, so I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll probably do like a haul at the end of this. It's everything I've picked up. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. So I'm wearing this Zara dress that I haven't worn in a while but I love it so much. It's just the comfiest thing ever. Um, they don't sell it anymore but I'll try and find something similar. And then I've just got on my massive Laura Ashley bag to carry everything in today. Now I'm going to go and do some shopping. shopping now and I'm in a different top um, it's actually a dress and I changed my bedding I've just been doing random bits and bobs and so now I'm gonna sit down and show you guys everything I picked up today I was just the hottest sweatiest mess after getting home from doing this um, my, my brain just thinks I can do way more than I actually can which is just really frustrating to live with <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna show you guys what I got I got some really nice bits um, battled through the fact that the circle line was closed today and I needed to use it and everyone was on the tube and it was just so busy <sighs> London in the heat is not fun I'm gonna start with stuff I picked up from um, Kings Road I really wanted to go to Ghost to have a look at their dresses because I am following a girl called Monique on Instagram and I am just completely obsessed with her Instagram. She has such an amazing fashion Instagram. If you guys aren't following her, you need to be already. <laughs> um, so yeah, I went in there and had a look and the price range of Ghost is about, I'd say like in the 100 range, like a new in dress, were, they were all about 160 pounds. Um, I didn't get a new in dress because I couldn't couldn't just part with that money today. So I found this really beautiful dress in the sale and this was like 70 something pounds. I picked this up in a size extra small because sizes run pretty big um, in Ghost. So I picked up this beautiful dress and it's very vintage feeling but it doesn't have the horrible vintage fabric or the ridiculous vintage price. <laughs> Although it probably would work out the same as a vintage dress. It's got this beautiful high neck collar. I'm not normally a fan of high necks, but this one is like reasonably loose, so I don't feel like I'm being choked to death. Um, and then it's got some really gorgeous little buttons down the back. Um, the sleeves are just short and really cute. Um, and then it goes into a full length maxi skirt. It also has a slip underneath it which is really good. So I will show you guys what that looks like on. Um, I'll probably just do a little overlay clip. But yeah, really really happy with this. Um, such a pretty dress for like everyday wear or like a special occasion so it's a really nice thing to have. I also think their online shop does not do their dresses any justice at all. Like you have to go in and like feel them, try them on and just appreciate the bias cut. <laughs> 
Then the final place I went on the King's Road was Free People. As you guys know, I have an obsession with Free People. I always get really sad when I go into the Free People shop in um, the King's Road because it's just so small and like all of the sizes are normally quite big and again free people run really big so I'm an extra small in free people and I'm normally like a size 8 to 10 so it's really annoying but I got the biggest bargain of the century <laughs> their sale had an extra 50% off on top of the sale price um, so I tried a lot of stuff on um, and lots of stuff didn't look quite right or was too big um, and I thought I'd give it a go but it was just too big <laughs> and then I found this really unweather appropriate at the moment this little jumper dress and this was reduced to £14.70 something which is just insane and it just fitted so nicely and I just love it I just I just want autumn already so I can wear this and nope it's gonna be another heat wave next week then I decided it would be a good idea to go to Westfield because that definitely wouldn't have been busy on a Saturday in the summer holidays. So the place I headed straight for was H&M because I just know that I can trust H&M to have natural fibres and just affordable, really gorgeous stuff. So that is where I went. Um, and the first thing I picked up is this pair of shorts. I'd seen these like a few times when I would went into H&M but... I'd never picked them up or even tried them on because um, I just didn't think they'd suit me and I try and steer away from green which is ironic because it goes nicely with my hair. <laughs> well, people think it goes nicely with my hair but sometimes I think green can be a bit too much with red hair because it makes it go like, wow, that's red. But yeah, I'm really happy with these. They're just really comfortable, don't have to be like pulling anything down or like adjusting anything so they're great for the hot, hot weather that we're going to have, that I'm not looking forward to. Next up, I have a pair of jeans. These are my favourite style of jeans. At the moment, I wear my H&M straight cut jeans just all the time. If I'm not like in the mood to style anything properly, I will just chuck them on with like a really pretty top or something. And I found them in like a distressed version, which I love. And also distressed denim is so good for when it's really hot because it just ventilates the leg. <laughs> so yeah, it's in a really gorgeous light wash, which is very me and um, yeah, really happy with this. These are both full price. Like I didn't really, I had a quick look at the sale, but because it's like end of sale, everything's messed up, everything's the wrong size and I just didn't, wasn't in the mood for it. <laughs> and also this means if you guys like anything you can buy it <laughs> then another unweather appropriate purchase was this pair of trousers corduroy trousers <sighs> I love me a bit of corduroy and these also came in pink but I didn't really like the shade of pink that they came in um, so these are just a really nice cream color they're just wide leg trousers I went for a size 10, I'm normally um, a size 8 around the waist um, and like a 26 but I wanted them like a tiny bit baggy, um, also the size 8 just like squished my bum and then was really loose on the waist, it was such a weird fit. And then I really wanted just like a normal t-shirt but everything was just had a pocket or like was too short or had a low neckline and so I found this and I thought it was quite interesting. It's just a little like off the shoulder t-shirt. I thought it would be nice with my jeans to wear and this was £8.99. It was in the conscious range and it's such a nice like really soft cotton so this will be really nice for the warm weather just to keep me nice and cool. Won't keep the sun off my shoulders but you know that's what sunscreen's for. And then the last thing I got from H&M are some pants. Some pants, some underwear. <laughs> I really like H&M underwear at the moment, I think it's really nice. Um, they have lots of like really horrible synthetic ones but then they also have some really cute like little just cotton Brazilian style. Um, Brazilian style are my favourite pants. Um, and hardly anywhere do them and if they do they're always sold out because I think everyone loves Brazilians <laughs> but I also picked up this really cute little floral pair this isn't a Brazilian this is a low-rise cheeky 
<laughs> um, but they look quite cute, so. So that's everything I picked up today from my shopping spree. And then I have a few things that I picked up literally like a month ago when the sales started. Um, these are mainly from Topshop, I have a few things. Um, so the first one is this absolutely beautiful dress. Beautiful. It's in this really nice, slightly nude, it's coming up very yellow on the camera, but it's more like pink. Hmm not really showing up right it's much more pink in real life um, but it's got this embroidery all over it it's a really mi little mini dress with a completely open back this was in the boutique section I think maybe I don't know it was originally 75 pounds and it was reduced to 45 which is still a lot of money but for the amount of embroidery and beadwork on it like look at the cuffs they're just like really heavy with all this beading on it. I'm not a huge fan of this beading to be honest. I don't think it really matches the embroidery particularly well, but it's just such a special dress. And like, you know, when you just find them and you're like, I need this to wear for some point in my life. And it's just been made so well, like the darts sit just right so you don't have to wear a bra which is great because the back is completely open. Then at the start of my internship, I really needed some like smarter things that weren't trainers. <laughs> Although I do just mainly wear trainers now. I picked up some really cute sandals. They look like this. These were totally like unplanned in purchasing, but they just caught my eye and I just felt like I couldn't leave without them. But they're really comfy. They're just like, they're just like plastic rings and then they've got a really nice like fabric sole and then yeah they're just really nice pair of sandals they also came in clear but they just looked a bit strange on my foot because i'm so pale anything clear just looks slightly weird on me and then the top shop shoes were just really doing it for me that day and i just couldn't resist them so the final pair of shoes i got from top shop are these little mules so yeah they're just sort of like a faux croc little shoe they do rub which i kind of knew that they would because anything like this normally rubs on my feet so yeah that's a bit annoying but hopefully i will break them in soon and they won't be uncomfortable but they look really nice with dresses um if you need to be a bit smarter perfect for that and then the final thing i have is a set of pajamas from primark which I am literally living in. As soon as I get back from um, my internship, I just get straight into them because they're so cool and like comfy. So this is what the shirt looks like. Um, it's very big because I got it in a size extra, too extra large. Um, so yeah, but I actually love how big it is and it's just super, super comfortable. Um, and then I got the shorts to match as well. I picked them up in a medium because normally Primark pyjamas shrink loads for me in the wash. Um, so when I have a size small it fits perfectly and then I wash it and it's like, it's a little bit tight. <laughs> so I bought the medium and I've sewn the back together a little bit. Not very well. <laughs> um, but when I wash it and they shrink I can just unstitch it and have fitting pajamas that is my little pajama love at the moment <laughs> so there we have it those are all of the new clothing excuse me so there we have it those are all of the new in clothing items i've been picking up i hope you guys enjoyed slightly coming along shopping with me um i kept forgetting to get my camera out and i'd be in a changing room and be like oh god i've tried everything on <laughs> oops but yeah this is why i can't be a daily vlogger because I just live in the moment and I don't think about getting a camera out and I'm just like whoops. I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!